Hello YouTube, Ben here with another long overdue voxel engine update. Today's update video is really short, uh, mainly because I just got back from vacation and I just started working on the game, but I was able to fix a lot of issues that were in the last video. For instance, there were some performance issues, and I know uh, Le Goldfish made a video of it, and uh, you could definitely tell there were performance problems. So I fixed those, of course I'm running it off my laptop right now, so it's not going to be a very good showcase, but as you can see, the terrain loads in a lot faster now. You don't get the really ugly, uh, you know, uh, chunks that don't load or anything like that. That pretty much has been fixed completely now. Still some bugs to fix. Uh, I'm going to be working pretty hard this week. And I have some really big features planned that I'm not going to really tell you guys right now because I kind of want it to be a surprise. Uh, so hopefully uh, I can finish those features in the next few weeks and uh, showcase them to you. So... If the future updates seem a little light, it's it's because I'm working on something in the background. Anyways, so we have some performance tweaks. Uh, things generally load faster. Um, let's see. Oh, of course, one of the main changes is that uh, leaves no longer are see-through. They're just blocks now. And they, they still wave in the wind, as you can see. And you can still walk inside them. But the reason I chose to go with blocks is because um, it looks better, uh, in my opinion. You, you get to have the ambient occlusion and stuff. People were complaining in the other video about it being kind of a solid color and having kind of a flat shading. Um, uh, bugs always appear whenever I'm doing these videos. Um, anyways, uh, people were complaining about the shading, so I made some changes. Um, basically, um, if, as you can see here, when I'm in no-clip mode, there's a lot of geometry cut out. Before, all of these leaves would be being drawn because they would be transparent, but now since they're blocks, um, I can just draw pretty much the outside of it. When you're not in no-clip mode, it does some little stuff to make it so you can't see inside the leaves. It just kind of draws leaf boxes around you when you're inside. If I go into no-clip, you can immediately see in there. Um, so this has a pretty positive effect on performance, gaining usually about 10 frames per second, especially in really dense forests. Um, a lot of uh, older computers, including mine, are fill rate limited big time with this, um, as well as having some problems with bandwidth. So cutting out all that geometry and all that overdraw really helps uh, tighten things up. Also, let me move up here so I can show you another change. Uh, if you watched the Goldfish's video, you would have seen that in this particular volcano right here, there were some huge canyons with like random deserts that didn't make any sense. That was fixed. Uh, I just needed to limit some biomes. Uh, deserts should not appear in the middle of a volcano, so I made that stop. Uh, but of course you can still get uh, cool little features. I think this is from where, uh, yes, uh, a blossom grove is appearing. So it's kind of cutting a hole in the volcano. Um, this will change. A, a Blossom Grove really shouldn't spawn in a volcano. Um, volcanoes are probably going to become their own biome. Right now they're just a terrain feature. And there really shouldn't be water in the middle either. There should be uh, lava. So that will also change. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, I made mushrooms uh, a little bit more gloomy. Let me go see if I can find a mushroom biome. And here we are in a swamp. Let's let the level of detail terrain load real quick. Uh, with the new super speed, the terrain can't really keep up. Um, I'm going to need to make some changes with that. Okay, here we go. Here is a mushroom biome. If we fly down here, you'll be able to see that now everything is pretty much a shade of uh, blue and gray and kind of purple. Um, I'll probably be changing the grass as well, and then these little mushrooms right here should be different colors. And uh, that's about it. Probably going to apply a fog eventually over this, but like I said, there's some other features I want to work on right now um, that I'm really excited about, and I'm not going to tell you. If you try to guess at the feature, um, I'm not going to confirm or deny any guesses, so just don't even try. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Stay tuned for some future updates, and if you haven't subscribed, please do that, because I do try to update every week. Thank you. Goodbye.